A new operation for Rainbow Six Siege is coming out soon. Operation Parabellum. Introducing two new operators, a brand new map, gameplay tweaks, and more. The leaderboard's here to bring you everything you need to know about Operation Parabellum. Alibi is one of the newest defensive operators brought into Rainbow Six Siege. She's a 3-speed, low-armor operator that brings 3 projection holograms that she can lay around the map as traps. If any attacking operator runs into, shoots, or interferes with them in any way, shape, or form, they get marked out for 5 seconds, just reminiscent of Lion's Drone. It's also worth noting that her holograms wear only her default clothing, so if you use any of them fancy skins, your holograms are pretty much pointless. Also, Alibi has a passive ability that allows her enemy team to walk outside of the map without giving away the operator's identity. The enemy team will still be notified that someone has left the playing area, but they will not know exactly which operator has left. She comes equipped with a high rate of fire, low damaging SMG, plus fully automatic shotgun that's reminiscent of the AA-12 from Modern Warfare 2. And in her secondary slot, she comes with a magnum plus a shotgun pistol. That's right, a shotgun pistol. Lastly, you get to choose between an impact grenade or a deployable shield. Maestro is a 3 armor, 1 speed operator, and is the second of the newest operators. His gadget is a deployable camera with a bulletproof shell plus it fires lasers. The lasers do low damage which is equivalent to Twitch's shock drone. To be able to fire the lasers, the bulletproof shield needs to be fully retracted which leaves an opening for attacking operators to destroy the camera. When the shields close, the only way to destroy it is explosives and Sledge's sledgehammer. As for his loadout, the only difference between Alibi and Maestro is that Maestro is able to carry an LMG and barbed wire compared to Alibi's SMG and impact grenade. Villa is the newest map in this operation. This map was made specifically for competitive play in mind. The map took about nine months to make, Villa is a two-story building plus a basement that doubles as a wine cellar. The map has many different entrances, all the way from the side doors in the basement to the second floor balconies and hatches below. With all the ways to maneuver and roam around the map, there's more ways to secure your kill. We mentioned that Ubisoft built Villa from the ground up to be competitive. That's why in the next Rainbow Six Pro League season, Villa will be replacing Cafe. The pick and ban system is pretty self-explanatory, but we'll, we'll go through some quick bullet points. So every match, four operators are going to get banned. Each team has to choose one defender and one attacker to ban. Once banned, they are gone for the entire match, and it's a cumulative vote between the teams, so you better hope that no one gets rid of your main. Right now, it's only available in custom matches and in competitive play, so ranked and casual won't have to deal with the system yet. Ranked has no exact details when it's going to be rolled out, but it is coming to you. There's no definitive answer whether or not it's going to be coming to casual, but it looks like you guys should be fine. With the latest operation means new game updates. So we're just going to bullet point these because they're small, but there's a lot. Echo. Echo's getting a buff. So he's getting an extra yokai drone, but each of his drones will have less ammo, so you won't be able to make people completely dizzy and drunk as much. Less picked operators like Frost and Doc are going to be getting a change to their kit. Introducing the bulletproof camera. It's bulletproof from the front, but it's going to be vulnerable from the sides. Like Glass's thermal scope, these cameras can actually see through smokes. So it's actually a pretty good counter to Glass. With this new update, there have been a bunch of changes to the UI, including a change to the surveillance system. So instead of having all your cameras in one place, now you have to actually switch tabs between both the building cameras plus actual operator cameras. They did make a change to the movement system where three speeds are a little bit slower but one speeds are a little bit faster. You still get a speed boost though when you hold out only a pistol. Also with this new operation they're adding a discovery playlist which is basically Villa 24-7 so you don't have to keep entering and exiting out of matches to find Villa. Ubisoft knows you're excited to play Villa. This last one's nothing major but it's just an animation change. Now you're given an iPad to stop the bomb. A little more scientific. So that's everything you need to know about Operation Parabellum. Are you excited for the new map? Which operator are you going to choose when you use Loadup? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to become part of the notification squad. Stay tuned to the leaderboard, your home for video game facts.